Another tutorial from photoshopvid.com and today we're going to be learning how to make another flyer with um, using brushes and colors, color overlays to just make an awesome flyer. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to want to go ahead and pick a rather professional um, image to use uh, for your flyer so I'm gonna go ahead and use this one now you can find images on Google or uh, Davian Art but you gotta be careful with copyrights and things like that okay so go ahead and usually you wanna get a bigger image so you could get the perfect size out of it I'm gonna go ahead and uh, transform this one or uh, make it smaller go to image image size to do this actually and let's go ahead and set it at 800 width okay so that's not bad and I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut a little bit out of the bottom so go ahead and see. if you need to cut something out you could actually just make your selection with the rectangular marquee tool then control C go to file new okay control V and it'll paste your selection but okay so let's go ahead and start brushing with the brush tool and I'm actually using uh, a brush set called a brush set called uh, quantum so you could uh, look that up on Google or in the future I'll probably include it in the description of this video but okay so kinda start out um, just with some simple brush strokes uh, maybe play around with the blend mode up here see what kind of uh, effects you could get okay so I'm just gonna keep it on normal and I'm actually gonna make a new when you wanna um, transform a brush set I'm actually let me see give me a second here see what we could uh, get when you wanna transform a brush set you wanna make sure uh, to make a new layer and actually <clears throat> do your brush on the new layer and you can press control T to transform anything okay so let's see what kind of effect we could get here that actually doesn't look too bad okay so we're gonna go ahead and just keep that and actually if you want to do the same thing just set your blend mode on overlay and um, I used this lightning brush from the, from the quantum brush set so I'm gonna go ahead and switch up my brushes um, check out some different ones maybe we can find something cool let's see go ahead and make a new layer um, so you have a fresh layer for our new brushes here <clears throat> okay just maybe just do something like that and um, let's change up our what's this right here so maybe we could well, you see simple little little things like like this can really uh, make an image so you wanna you wanna be simplistic but yet again stylish so to speak um, let's see
Let me set this on overlay. Let's actually just try and go to the top here. Okay. And let's actually erase uh, that part on the ear right there. <clears throat> Okay, so that looks pretty good. Let's make a new layer again. Again, let's pick a new brush set. Let's see what we could uh, get. I like this one. Something here. Let's see exactly. Not too much. Mm. Okay. So now let's go ahead and add some lighting to our image with and some color as well with a uh, basic brush set so you want to go ahead and reset your brushes now choose a soft brush like this one and you want to make it a decent size about 300 pixels okay now we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of uh, light sources in our image here so just kinda brush around uh, Try and get a good effect. Set that on overlay, maybe. Um, no. So let's see what else actually. Play around with uh, your blend modes. Try and get a good effect. Like, see, I think that looks pretty good. So maybe. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and keep that. Kind of, it's kind of like Sin City sort of style, so to speak. But okay, so go ahead and make a new layer again. See, you, when you're making uh, designs like this, the key is really, it really is to experiment, to play around with the settings, just to try and get the perfect effect. Okay, and that's how I like to go through with uh, a lot of my designs. That one overlay maybe again we're just trying to get a better effect maybe lower the opacity okay and then we could even um, erase this part of our brush in this part of our brush. Maybe no, definitely not. I don't like that at all. Okay, so I, th I think we should just keep it like this. We got a good effect going. Um, okay, now let's go ahead and add some color. So go back to your brush tool to our big brush here. So I'm going to go ahead and add some red um, here at the top and you can set your blend mode on overlay or uh, soft light kind of try and get a good uh, color 
Um, let's see, maybe blue. And sometimes this doesn't work with certain colors. So you just have to play around. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and erase this part here. And over here as well. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and go to image. Um, hmm, adjustments, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, adjustments, uh, color balance. Okay. Or actually, oh, excuse me, I meant layer, new adjustment layer, and then color balance. Okay. So, now you want to just kind of play around with the colors, the shadows and stuff. Um, just try and get kind of a good color and we're actually going to add uh, a couple of uh, color overlays here let's see kind of try and get the perfect effect um, and then with color overlays, uh, you can play around with the opacity or the blend mode as well. So let's see what kind of effect we could get here. Okay. Okay, I like the effect where it kind of lightens it up a little bit gives it some more uh, flow so to speak okay let's go to layer new adjustment layer again color balance okay and let's play around with some highlights here okay. Pretty good effect we're getting. Maybe we can uh, add some more colors with uh, with the brush. Okay, so let's kind of test out some uh, some stuff. Maybe a little bit of pink. And a little bit more blue. Definitely not. That looks kind of like an avatar uh, chick. So we're just trying to get the perfect, um, really color blend between all of our colors here. Okay. Let's actually go ahead and do that. Um, but lower the opacity a little bit. Okay, just we need a little bit more color up on the top here. Um, let's see what we can do. Maybe a little couple little brush strokes. Um, a little blue maybe. Okay, and I was actually thinking we could erase some of this blue on the ear. And add a 
different. Um, new smaller brush. So hopefully, hopefully you're following along, or at least attempting to. And you can pause the video to see exactly what I'm doing. Um, but yeah, just trying to get the perfect <coughs> effect. Maybe erase some, uh, lower the opacity of the eraser and erase so it's not as blue. Okay, I think that definitely doesn't look bad. So let's go ahead and add some text. we got here. Go ahead and set your font color uh, to black, maybe gray. I'm actually going to do a little black, uh, gray, and lighter gray kind of thing on the letters. smaller you can even uh, change the spacing between the letters um, let's see maybe at 14 maybe make this one bigger Okay, I think that totally doesn't look bad. And there you have my second flyer tutorial. Um, now you can check out all of my tutorials on photoshopvid.com. And if you have any suggestions, any tutorials you want to see, anything in specific, just leave me a comment. And make sure to subscribe if you like the videos. Okay. Have a good day.